to an evil dead as a twisted tale of two estranged sisters whose reunion is cut short by the rise of a flesh-possessing demon, thrusting themselves into the primal battle for survival as they face the most nightmarish vision of a family imaginable. So as an evil dead fan, this movie didn't quite hold up to the 2013 in pretty much all aspects, like the killing, the plot, the death scenes, and all like the grossness of these that these movies are kind of known for wasn't really there. I mean, it still was like there's still a lot of projectile vomiting and big ass kills, but it just doesn't. It wasn't as over the top as it usually is. And I don't know if, if it's due to having more kids in the movie. That could be a possibility, but I just felt like it was not as up to par for other Evil Dead movies, especially now that they're gone all hyper gory with it. Like, I don't really want to see this movie again. Whereas when I went and saw the 2013 one, I went and saw it basically the next day. So I'm not quite sure how much rewatchability there is with this movie. But there's still a lot I liked about this movie. Like, how they got the book was okay. It was just, it wasn't as, you know, out of nowhere random, but it's still a little random. And it did have some possibility to it. And the mom did an excellent job as the possessed girl. She brought a lot of creepiness to the role and, and did a good job of keeping up with the other counterparts in the other Evil Dead movies. Like she, she was on par with a lot of the other like possessed people in the other movies. So I could see them all kind of being the same. Her kids were okay. The kids are kids. I kind of wish they didn't really kind of put some wokeness. You know, they got to stick a little wokeness in it. They made, they, I think the kid was a little reading rainbow, her son, and the other daughter, of course, she's a, a big feminist because she has short hair, and there was, she was going to some, some protest for something, they didn't say what, so, but, you know, some protest. But she had all the markers for being more like one of those hardcore feminists. So it's like, oh, do you really have to? Can, can't kids just be kids? I don't need to. They don't need to go to protest. They don't need to be reading Rainbow. The only normal girl was the little one. They did a pretty good job on the ending, though. The ending was a really good climax. But it was kind of like the only really good kill in the whole movie. I mean, I guess you didn't have a whole lot of characters to work with compared to the other Evil Deads. So I thought when they actually killed some, they should have made it gone full, uh, full tilt with the gore and whatever they need to since there's only a handful of characters you can actually play with. And the last thing I'll mention was this weird little B-plot or side characters, because at the beginning of the, of the movie, the demon has possession of some character that you don't see in the, for the whole movie until the end, because this character was just some random character living in the apartment building, and she sees the aftermath of everything. And then I don't know how she gets possessed by the demon, because once the demon is dead, it's dead, and it has to be called again from the book. So it kind of makes no sense how she got possessed by another demon. I don't know. That's something that didn't make sense to me. And the other thing was she went down the staircase, but the staircase was just destroyed previously. So I don't know how she went down the staircase. And then the last little thing was, you know how when you get like an injury from the demon, it gets infected. Well, the main character got stabbed and she didn't get infected, but the, the daughter did and she got turned. So it kind of was a bit of an oversight. Like she, the other girl got her hand stabbed and the daughter got a little scrape on the, on the face and she got infected, but the other one didn't. So that was kind of, that didn't make sense. But other than these little plot oversights, it's not a bad movie. If you like Evil Dead, I think you'll, you'll enjoy the movie. It's not very long at an hour and a half, but there's nothing really, really memorable about this movie. And that's kind of my issue with it. Seems more of a, a cash grab movie, just trying to take advantage of the name rather than being its own movie. But there's some enjoyment to have. And if you want to see a brutal kill and some people throwing up on each other, there's lots of that in this movie.